demonstration, I will show you how you can change the default lock screen image on a Windows client using a GPO. This is the default lock screen image you get on a Windows 11 client. And as long as this is domain joined to our Windows server, I can enforce a GPO to change this lock screen image. To do that, let's go to our Windows Server 2022. And the first thing we need to do is to create a folder that is shareable across our network and place our lock screen image. So for me, I have that shareable folder under the C drive name as common share files. This is the folder that I have created in my previous demonstrations. So I will show you the properties we have for this folder. Under the sharing tab, we see that we have a network path. So that means this folder is shared using this path. I'm going to copy that. And under advanced sharing, we can go to the permission section and we see that we have set the permission for everyone as read only. For this type of activity or purpose, we only need the read access for all your domain users. We don't need to give them the full control or change permissions. We only need them to have the read permission so that they can read that image on their end. So once that is set and we have a, a network path, we can place our lock screen image that we will be using on this folder, inside this folder. So I have placed it conveniently right here, saying GPO underscore lock screen. So if I open it, it's just a big uh, image with the welcome to net IT geeks and some information on the bottom. And when you're making this type of uh, lock screen images, one thing to consider uh, is that uh, placement of text and images because on the lock screen so if you go back to our windows 11 machine you will have some information at the top and the lock uh, you know logging information in the center when you try to log into the computer you will notice that if you put any text in here for example it's not going to show up well it's because if i press this uh, you know, it will have all that information and it's kind of be uh, obscured. So you probably want to place the text in a way so that it doesn't get blocked by the elements of your lock screen. So if you have mostly Windows 11 machine, you know where the elements are and make sure that you, you know, place whatever your text and information so that it doesn't get covered by the elements. So once you have done that and place your image inside your shared file, we can finally go and open our server manager, go to the tools section, and I will open two consoles. Uh, one of them is the Active Directory users and computers, and the other one is the group policy management console. So I'm opening two items. The reason for that is I'm gonna show you uh, where my computers are located, because that is an important factor in how you apply your uh, you know, this particular group policy. So on the Active Directory users and computers, you see that I have moved all my computer devices under client computers and I see all my Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices listed here. So that means if I apply the GPO to the client computers or you, it will have an impact on these devices. So now we know where we need to apply. Uh, we will go back to our uh, the group policy management console and here's our OU so we have the uh, sanuja.local domain and we have the client computers OU and we already have one group policy already attached to it. So we're going to enter a new group policy by right clicking here and create a GPO in this domain and link it here. So remember there's two ways to create group policy you can actually create it down here under the group policy object. Uh, right click here and new and then link it up here later by clicking right click in link an existing GPO and then you can link it like that way or you can do uh, what I'm doing uh, which is basically uh, you know link it directly here so I'm just going to directly link here uh, by 
uh, right clicking and selecting the option create a GPO in this domain and link it here and you can name this um, group policy anything you like so I'm gonna change this to uh, lock screen image and click OK and now I have a GPO called the lock screen image I can right click on that and click edit and it will give me the group policy management editor console and the next thing we need to do is to navigate to the personalization section in the control panel to do that under computer configurations expand the policies and under policies expand the administrative templates so we are in the computer configuration policies administrative templates and expand the control panel and you see the personalization section so select the personalization section and on the right hand side we have option called force a specific lock screen and logging image so what we're going to do we're going to open that by double clicking it currently it is not configured and we're going to enable it so i have copied the path of the folder so i'm going to paste that and then I'm gonna go backslash and then I'm gonna find uh, the you know the name for this one this is GPO uh, lock screen uh, so I'm gonna go properties I'm simply gonna copy that so I won't uh, have any spelling mistakes and then JPG because that's a JPEG image you have the ability to turn off the facts and tips and tricks that shows up on the lock screen it is an option you can either select or deselect I'm gonna just select it and that will prevent any uh, you know Windows facts or information showing up uh, on the lock screen image and I'm gonna click apply and click OK and then I can exit from here now we see that you know it is attached to the client computers and we know the client computers uh, these computers that reside there so let's go to our client computers which is Windows 11 Enterprise here and the lock screen image is not showing here so what we're gonna do we're gonna log in and I'm gonna go uh, into the command prompt and I'm gonna type GP update slash force what that's going to do it's gonna look for any group policy updates and it's going to bring that information to your client. So press enter. The so group policy update has been successful. So now if I lock the screen, you can see our lock screen image is here. So we have that welcome to net IT geeks showing up and I made sure that the elements of Windows, for example, the time and the date is not going to overlap it. Uh, and now if I try to log in right now, it'll the lock screen image will blend into the background and I can log in as usual and if this user uh, lock this device again for example they will have that custom lock screen image one thing I want to highlight here is that this lock screen image GPO will only work on Windows 10 Windows 11 enterprise versions of your clients it will not work on Windows 10 or 11 professional versions or home editions uh, first of all the home editions won't be able to connect to your domain and the professional versions uh, will be able to connect to the domain but any GPOs associated with lock screen image will be ignored by your professional Windows 11 uh, and the Windows 10 machines so lock screen image GPOs will only work with the Windows 11 and Windows 10 enterprise edition or educational uh, volume editions of your clients another thing I want to point out is that I apply the GPO to the client computers OU instead of applying up here or applying anywhere else the reason for that is logically and you know practically this lock screen image GPO should apply to my client computers it's not part of 
a configuration associated with users. It is a part of a configuration associated with your client computers. So it is recommended and it is what you should be doing uh, is to apply the GPO to the client computers section or uh, where you do have all your client computers listed. So in my case, I have the client computers or you and have all my devices listed. If you have something else here, uh, whatever the OU with all your devices, Windows devices listed, that's where your uh, GPO uh, should be applied for lock screen image. So that's everything for today. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Until next time, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.